Good morning, everyone. Today's Thursday, May the 9th. My name is Anne Marie Band, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. As a side note, you can see me on Top Step TV this morning for fast markets between 9.30 and 12 Eastern time today. So what are we looking at at the ES? Pretty range bound, right? 51.88 line to buy yesterday. Pre-market, it looks like 51.94. It could be landlocked. So we want to look for buyers that are sitting somewhere around, you know, that 5190-ish area. We seem to have a high volume node there that uh, buyers are pretty keen on looking at. Sideways motion, though. So remember, in sideways motion, it's the see money, take money, or support to resistance, resistance to support. What does momentum tell us here in this case? On the two-hour formation, we have a downward drift in momentum, but a sideways motion in the moving average. So that tells us dips could be deeper, but you're going to find buyers on that edge there until that moving average rotates. I listened to Lance Robert this morning. He feels like, you know, there's more upside there in terms of motion away from the correction. Technically, I see a lot of sideways action, and he, he might agree with that also. So. For the NQ, here's what we're looking at. We've got sideways action, a lot of topping tails, right? And bottoming tails, which is, you know, a little bit normal when markets are noisy. Um, prices are sitting right near some key gamma levels, and those key gamma levels look to be somewhere around 140 to 120. That's where we are. If they're trying to push up and over, that's going to lend us up here into potentially that 240 area like we had yesterday that gave us a really nice short. What's the formation in general? Buy the dip, sell the bounce. Buy the dip, sell the bounce. We've got sideways bands, weak vol, excuse me, weak momentum, and so flat moving averages. This is your basic range trade that says high to low or low to high. Okay, let's take a look at oil. Oil is in a reversion to the mean. As many of you know, I've been looking at this one uh, really specifically because I think it's got a bounce back formation all the way into 80. That's my suspicion. Uh, we The call wall is sitting at 80.50. So we have a little bit of support that might be coming in at around the 79.30-ish area. If you remember, that was the region that I shorted from um, last week, and now it could be looking like support. So here's the storyboard. If we can hold above the 79.60, we should go up into 80.50, where the uh, call wall is sitting, right? Maybe we put an alert there. Other than that, pullbacks into 29.30, 29.11. Those are buy zones. Um, excuse me, 79.20, 79.11. I don't even know where those other numbers came from. We've got a, a gamma level at 79 even, so it might get a little choppy, but bullish, right? Trend up, momentum up. We're all in great shape. All right, let's take a look at the YM. Market formations, don't have the gamma levels for these, but market formations tell us we can buy the dip, right? Momentum is not strong. So the ranges look a little tight. Yesterday was a beast of a move. No idea what happened there. Uh, volume, solid, all day long, better than average, and kaboom. So I suspect old resistance is new support. 39,000, the floor, if it loses 39,000 and say 40, 39,040, I, I would trim, right? Because you would probably head down another 100, 100 points. And so my thought is wait for it to come in, let it flatten out, and then take the trade, or use a tighter time frame that shows you above the VWAP and with a positive slope on a moving average. And those two things will allow you to get into the 209, the 303, 
and the 39,400 level, right? All of those look very doable. Very, very doable. All right, that's it for the YM. Let's take a look at gold, and then we'll do the SPY and the Qs. Take a look at gold. Gold is really caught in a cross current. My suspicion, it should fade to 2300, but overnight it held this 2311 really pretty nicely. Momentum is still negative. Trend negative, but shifting. And so really the pullback into 2320 should give us a buy zone. And then we can move back up to 2332. If we lose 2320, you really don't want to give yourself any more than about 20 ticks. Because if it loses that area at around 2318 or so, it's very likely to head back to 2313 to 2311. Okay, upside pressure event still looks bounded by 2332 and 2338 on the upside. All right, let's take a look at first the cues, sideways to flat, momentum is down. With the downward momentum, it tells us that bounces are likely to sell. There is a very big gamma line here at the 441 area, same as yesterday, really. And so this is very rangy to me. It looks like we could have a pretty sloppy day with the floor at about 438.50 and the ceiling at about 441. If we lose 438.50, you've got a stop action event that's a dollar wide. So I would say clip it, maybe 20 cents, and then let it stabilize and try it again. I don't like hanging on to this if it fades. One, because we've got a fair number of candlesticks battling this moving average. And two, we've got negative momentum. So that's all we're looking at for that. Let's take a look at SPY finally. Let me pull up the call walls there. And of course, all of this data is coming from Menthor Q. Those guys are rock stars for automation of getting things into price points where we need to see them. It's just absolutely incredible. Right now, the high volume note and put support for the zero DTE is sitting right here at 517. If we don't reject this, right, meaning if it continues to the north, everything's perfectly fine. If we do reject the put support that's sitting here, the market is going to run in the direction of that break. So we have got to be careful for looking uh, upward in that space, or we could find ourselves right back down at the 515 area. What's the trade? Again, sell the spikes, buy the dips. So here comes the 517. See if it can get to 517.80, selling that area and then buying back at the 515. That's the mechanical flow of working with these levels in a sideways formation at this time. That's it for me, folks. Good luck trading. I'll see you on the platforms.